What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today we are going live trying out Transport Fever 2. I, uh, I bought it once a long time ago, and I played a little bit of it, and then I realized it wasn't multiplayer, so I refunded it, because I was only really looking for multiplayer varieties of these games at the time. But uh, now that we're doing the whole, uh, you know, internet to YouTube thing, we can give this thing a shot. So I've never played the game other than, you know, the 10 minutes that I'd previously played. So this is going to be my first shot at it. So we'll see how it goes. Welcome to Uncharted That's an easy game. Good. Welcome everyone, Alexander Yak Ackerman, Ackerman, Antimatter, twelve oh seven, Jared Stafford. Oh, I don't have the game then selected in, in the, uh, right the options here. Gold Rush Fever holds sway in Virginia City, and you, you look at Hattie William. Sadly, can't derail. Darn. Red dog Poker game. <laughs> Soon you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a you know precisely who, Brett. <laughs> Thanks to cleverness and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. The former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, who plays a lousy <laughs> hand at poker, Hi, Maple. already took care of the groundwork. What are you ruining at, baby? A practical woman. She left the necessary equipment behind. Hacker, to just remove the age. I see. To find the mine. Welcome, everyone. Get an it's not TF2. This is Transport Fever 2. Oh, God. This, there is a uh, tutorial. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't realize I was going to be loading into a tutorial by starting the campaign. The Apologies, everyone. <laughs> Where dog cam? No dog cam yet. Find the mine. Where is the mine? Oh, I guess the... Big question marks, probably a. <laughs> what a promising claim. That is the widest gauge minecart setup I think I've ever seen. To lose heart. You'll just have to dig deeper. <laughs> you ought to get hold of some solid timber from the nearby forest. So that build a station where the horse carts can be packed with logs. Who is this Swedish guy trying to talk in a cowboy accent? That's what I want to know. The music is good. Use pets for views. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Is it like being a fireman on a steam locomotive? Hot. Uh, how do we rotate? R? Nope. Oh, that's... R just does camera things. I will find the hotkey. M and N. Okay, I was not going to find that. Thank you. Narrow angle construction. Oh, I'm not supposed to build it there. I'm supposed to build it over here, the highlighted area. Right. I can read. I promise. <laughs> Stick that there. The sort of thick skulled driver, which route he should take. Sandbox mode's fun. Okay. Truck stop. Yep. Okay. Oh, did I want to get rid of that? I don't think I wanted to get rid of that. New line. Yes. Oh, stations to add. Doot. Doot. Now, there's got to be a small okay, depot good. to park the horse-drawn carts, too. <laughs> the horse depot. Yeah. Everything's all set. Now, all, right. all you have to do is to get hold of a cart to transport the wood. Mine cart gauge is approximately the difference between the narrow and standard gauge rail and three-year-old dual gauge. Through no tomfoolery foolery whatsoever, of course, Brett. <laughs> but yeah, when it's the winter, firing is pretty nice, but that's like the only time it's really nice. Is this like Railroad Tycoon 3? Kind of, I think. I gotta buy a, I gotta buy a horse cart. Buy vehicles. We have a horse-drawn carriage, and we have an American horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> it 
Is there a specific one? No, I just have to buy a horse cart. Okay. Uh, presumably it's a cargo one, so presumably we'll want the American one. A sturdy vehicle. Transport <laughs> and welcome Andrew, Nazi Lover 2001, William Nemo, 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 John Deere Boy, welcome, and Blue Comet 833, welcome to the ESD uh, Breakman. Okay, that looks like uh, a thing. I've got to assign the vehicle to a line. Yes, there we go. It won't be long before it's possible to dig deeper. Well then, good luck. Where's my horse? Is that him? Huh? No, that's Catherine Robinson. Oh, we're paused. I see. Go get them, yes. The horse is perfectly being in sync is a little hilarious, but I get it. Very good. Just wait till you see the trains in this game. Oh boy. Found extra money, give me a special <laughs> Discord roll. Blue comment, um, uh, if you link your YouTube to your Discord, it'll automatically uh, update your role in Discord. Hey, Ashley, doing well. Sorry I haven't been streaming too much, folks. It's been a lot to get things, uh, it's been a lot to get things unpacked and everything and get used to the, the new schedule and all that. That and adjusting to altitude and doing manual labor instead of sitting around in an office has not been a fun. Uh, adjustment here. Look at this grade. This grade is large. And it goes nowhere. Okay. Delivering logs. Oh, we have to wait till the horse cart delivers. Well, we'll let the horse cart do its thing. Go! Go! <laughs> Go get them! Indeed. Did they have parking lot lights in 1865? You know, I don't think they did. <laughs> it's fine. There we go. Not everything that glitters is gold. Maybe you're quoting Led Zeppelin over there. Than you thought. Despite all the hardship, the mine only brings in a few chunks of silver ore. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Luckily, you greenhorns constantly get stranded in Virginia City, who you can peddle that confounded pit. I've been to Virginia Good City. Month. I recently was there. So, you got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. Time to invest this money in a lucrative venture. And there's an excellent opportunity. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. A railroad that takes over the transport would be a promising venture. Gotta build a railroad. We are the VNT. Select the variant, which is 120 meters long. Boom. The terrain is treacherous. Requires a few very twisted curves. <laughs> yes, it does. My exact words when I rode the VNT was, "This has no business being standard gauge." Howdy, Bill. Oh, and you're welcome, Andrew. I'm glad. <laughs> Railroads Online exploded, and that's all I'm going to say about it on this stream. Oh, lordy. Okay. That looks uh, looks like trains. Um, oh, hang on. We need there. Katunk. Anywhere in the West that would be able to sell some steam locomotive blowdown valves? Um, I'm not sure who makes blowdown valves or who sells them or who has extra. The only people um, that I would guess would maybe be Backshop Enterprises or maybe the Strasburg Railroad. 
Um, they make a fair amount of random stuff related to locomotives. Those would be my two guesses, but I, I'm not sure if either of them make bullet down valves. Build a railroad route that rapidly transports all the ore to the valley. Okay. Establish a new line. <laughs> Sheriff Bjornsson. <laughs> hey, thanks, Nazu. Nazu lover. Nazu. Ne Nazulu. -ver? I don't know how to say your name either. Brace myself. How rapid does he want? I don't know. So, anyways, establishing. Oh, so, I got a. Lines are over here. So, we're gonna go new line. And then we're gonna go Carson City. Which. We didn't have to build that station. Okay, whatever. It's Carson City to Virginia City. We are the VT. Hey, thanks, Paul. I appreciate the super chat. Glad to see you. I'm streaming again. I'm glad to be streaming again. I love doing these. These are so much fun to hang out with you guys. Just wish I had more time. All right, well now we gotta gotta build a jeppo. God, the peacups just ra it, apparently I've been told that you can't uh, derail in this game, so it's very sad. Although we can probably have sadness with signals, I would imagine. But a truly well done structure. Now it just needs to be connected. Okay, just too <laughs> too much curvature. <laughs> yes. How much curvature does it have? Too much. Okay, we'll just do one of these. Speed limits are like, kind of like just railroad corporation-ish. The signals are a nightmare. Oh boy. Locomotive three. Five vehicles. Oh God. Baldwin six wheels. Yeah, that's what we call it right there. And some gondolas. This thing can pull more than one? <laughs> Jesus. They cost $870,000? What what math is this? The K-37s when new in 1928 were like 150 grand. How is this turd from the 1800s cost that much? Oh, lordy. Now we assign it to line two. Or transport is picking up speed. With a little luck, it'll make you richer than all the silver in Nevada ever could. <laughs> no derailing reminds you of another game. Oh god, and it's got a oh, 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 oh. We have trucks, like cars with trucks in this era, and this very bizarre. Is this, is there a prototype for this? Can we snap the camera on it somehow? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes, look at train. <laughs> Jared Stafford, thank you for the super chat. You warned me they're cursed. You did. They are pretty cursed. Is there a prototype for this? But yeah, the, the packing is just shot. <laughs> hey, Strasburg Girl Fan 90. And the valves don't move. There is no valve gear. It's fine. And the stack cleanouts on the front? It's kind of weird looking. And, and he's just over firing the hell out of it. Not that there's any coal, so I guess he just loaded it up before he left. From these bins. Oh no, those, that's the ore. And it magically. Okay, it does the thing. Well, that's fine. We die like lobsters. <laughs> that poor steam bathed in sun soaked engineer. Base game trains are cursed as hell. There's some really good looking mod ones. I remember seeing pictures of people playing this game and, and they've had like really cool looking trains. And so I assumed that was just the base. But no, I guess we have this. Baldwin Flexible Beam 060. It's weird. Is this the game with the big 318? No, that's uh, that's Railroad Corporation. Uh, 
Where would I place Transport Fever 2 on the Open TTD Rare Tycoon 2 3 Sid Meier's vibe chart? Um. Huh. It's a little Railroad Tycoon 3 Sid Meier's y vibes right now. I'm not getting any Open TTD yet. Maybe with the signals we'll get there, but. Let's have a big round of applause. <laughs> Cockpit cam, yes. Hooray! There's no end to the rejoicing. All thanks to you. Use the H button to sound the horn. That's not a horn. And it. It's like a sad three chime. Good, and you can break it. Did I see that Train Sim World 3 is announced? Yes, I did. And I'm, oh, this is the first stream I'm seeing where there's some red lanterns. This is cool. Thank you to all those people hanging out for this long. The quintet. They made a quintuplex. A very well done one. Jeez. Nazi Lover 2001. Good to see you streaming again. Enjoying the offline stuff a lot, especially the train crew one. Thank you. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. The videos are fun to make. I've, I've uh, I edited another video today. Uh, first person track crew, basically. And then I shot most of Whistles 101 today. I need to film a little bit more, but uh, it's going to be pretty close, I think. So that's going to be nice. Um, should be seeing that pretty soon. It does sound like a kid blowing a wooden whistle. How much funnel do you want? Yes. <laughs> Plays wooden whistle. I have that on my desk for important video filming reasons. Bonus tasks completed. Yes. Hooray! Some janky 060 with laterals that are way too big, pretty much. What's up, USATC fan? What the hell is that thing? Oh, we don't know either. We're just going to put it on super speed and wait for it to arrive at Carson City. At the uh, 1800s platform that has siren style speakers and electric lighting. <laughs> is this the newest format for the ESD? It is. There we go. Silver smelting is moving fast and furious. There it goes. Fine ladies and high class gents get off in Carson City. Make sure they don't ruin their good shoes on the muddy streets. <laughs> you the fire for Find out I never heard about that, Brad. That's hilarious. I bet they were good kindling. Oh, lordy. <laughs> no way it'd be doing 25. Yeah. Nazu. Okay. Gotcha. Townhouses are divided into three land uses. Your services are needed to the same degree everywhere in town. Oh. Commercial, industrial, resident. Okay. Oh, there's zoning. Okay. So we're adding Sim City to this now. Okay. We're we're making some buses. We have buses. I'm pretty sure we still only have horses. <laughs> oh lord okay let's see um where where does it does it want me to build s oh i just have to build them in each different little spot all right patunk 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 last tram stop D did that not work why didn't that work? Oh, in Carson City. Well, you know. You know. Oh, see, that's... I should have looked for the highlights. Sorry, we're just going to have extra buses. Alright. Make sure your coaches don't miss any stops. <laughs> Alright, new line. Line three. 
Wilson Street, Nath Street. They're on the same street. Why are the street names changing? Howdy, Bacon. Yes, Carson City. We're we're playing we're playing in your town. We're playing in your your area here. On uh, <laughs> apparently this is the first scenario, and it puts us puts us here. Yeah, the campaign. Should I not be playing the campaign? Is is that is, is that the consensus here? <laughs> the Dunkirks. The Dunkirks are weird. <laughs> the brakes are cursed. It's my opinion on steam turbine locomotives. It would have been neat if they tried more than the few that they did. I think it was a neat idea, but they the, the Penzi tried there is too late, and it really just didn't didn't end up going anywhere. Do they have a stupid place for me to put this? Now I can stick it wherever I want. It's going there then. Just a few coaches with horses so that you can get started. Hey, you were telling me that I was making buses earlier, man. And now I can't have American horses. We just have to have regular horses. <laughs> Select them all. Put them on line three. Great. First passengers are already waiting. Go get them. <laughs> the way these horses are animated makes me think of Tokyo Grand Prix. Free play, try a media map connecting every city and industry. That sounds interesting. Will I do a 25k sub special? Uh, yeah, probably. I was trying to think of what I would do, and I'm honestly not sure what I would uh, what I would do for it. it looks an awful lot like city si skylines. It kind of does. All right, let's see. Transporting passengers. Well, you know, we're going to come over here because we accidentally made extra bus stations. So I guess we're going to build a new line. The Territorial Enterprise reports. A beast is up to no good in the area. According to eyewitnesses, it oh, leaped crap. from tree to tree, was at least 10 feet tall, had a shaggy black pelt, and enormous feet. Ask the reporter what it's all about. Uh, okay. <laughs> the reporter, a certain Mr. Clemens, has revealed his source to you. An old good for nothing by the name of Sam Hawkins. He's supposed to be in the saloon in Virginia City. Could be it means buying him a couple of shots of hard liquor before he <laughs> comes up with the truth. <laughs> what, what is this video game? I'm sorry. What are we doing? We're buying someone liquor? We're buying Bigfoot liquor. This is what I just heard. We're doing shots with Bigfoot today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish getting my bus horse bus set up going here. Cause uh, yeah, this game is everything. Howdy, FJX two thousand. <laughs> At what point does a rail fan become a foamer? Always. We're all foamers. 1900 and 1940s, the best train selection. 25k special, hopefully include the boys. Maybe. I have been toying with a uh, uh, Explody Boys plus the Beans plus the Nukes uh, consist. That could be fun. The campaign is wild. <laughs> Click the building with the giant question mark. Okay. The good man was happy to provide information. The monster got a few feet taller with each whiskey you bought him. Word has it that it gobbles up whole cows and picks the remains out of its teeth with a wagon tongue. Our informer thinks it's hanging what around is... near the Ponderosa Ranch. If he what? What that. is this? What is this video game? Old Cartwright and his son didn't take too kindly to your visit to the Ponderosa Ranch. Apparently, you're not the first to be hot on the monster's heels. Find the next clue. <laughs> We're searching for clues that are the Just size of Texas. Them off, they hurried away towards Lake Tahoe with a paper hot off the presses in their hands. The Territorial Enterprise reports. The wild man is dead. His body was... Okay. <laughs> I 
we need the ESD breathalyzer to go with the ESD peak up. <laughs> From trains to monsters. How come we, have, we haven't transported five passengers within Carson City yet? Where, where are our... What are you guys doing? Oh, that's, that's a lady. Oh, they haven't gotten to the first station yet? Or are you just very confused? No? Okay. Most of the town feels vaguely period-ish. But then some of the assets they never bothered to do, right? <laughs> Lake Tahoe is a wee bit small, I was gonna say. Lake Tahoe's giant. Long, there was nothing more than a dreary two bit town. A magnificent little city now. A free game is what you consider the real game. Okay, so apparently when I really play this we should do the we should do a free game. I could jump out and start a free game, I suppose. Howdy frame, right? Your tickets will be the hottest item in town. Make sure that the rest of the world is finally connected to Carson City, a veritable boom town. <laughs> All right, we already got a platform in Reno. <laughs> All right, uh, trains. Trains! <laughs> God. I just thought of that stupid uh, that TikTok video. The National Railroad Museum! Trains without wheels. Wheels without trains. So can you only have terminals? I presume they'll eventually be a through station, right? Anyways, tracks. That looks great. Just make it nice and high speed here. For that sad Baldwin thing that we're going to be running shortly Buy a train <laughs> lawn <all> spookies <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, do a free game okay there are three stations shift m and n yes i am streaming right now why you ask I don't know why we're building the VNT in 1865. Oh, Paul, you're starting at BNSF as a diesel machinist. That should be... Uh, what shop are you going to work at? Do you know? I imagine you'd know. I... For my time with... Um, BNSF, I was... I don't know. There was good and bad. <laughs> I can't recommend wanting to be railroad management, put it that way. And uh, it seems the culture is getting a little interesting these days, but it is, uh, the, you're gonna get to do some cool stuff to the locomotives, so. Ooh, Galesburg. Railroad town, there you go. Buy vehicles. All right, Baldwin six wheels again. To inaugurate the line from Reno to Carson City, the town built on. We gotta add another line here. Reno, Carson City. Cool. And then we go to the Choo Choo, and now we need to know where Choo Choo go. We're off and running. Everyone is dead set on riding your beautiful railroad. Everyone wants to ride my beautiful railroad. Well. That whistle and these poor leaking packing. Wait, it only no, no, no. Hang on. How? Why does it only? It has a steam chest on on one side, but not the other. What? Why? There's firewood up in Glenbrook. That that man's he face. The works, real nice. No one smiles this good Don't while they're running something this sad. Also, why is he wearing a lab coat? <laughs> it 
Benson played to comment on the lopsided steam chests. You barely got away from the car track, boys. Now get a respectable load of logs down to the valley as fast as possible. Logs from the ranch to again. the timber supply. Okay. So that would be the logs. From that, but presumably that is the ranch, to, and then to to the timber supply. Okay. Oh, you can even click at these context clues. Look at that. All right. Well, we know what to do now. We have the we have the tools. <laughs> Jeremy Railroadson. It's <laughs> pretty good. Truck unload slash stop. Truck station. Do what? Uh, does not allow loading of cargo. Oh, interesting. That's a fun mechanic. Oh, is it once again telling me where to build? Or is, no, that's. We already have a cargo station there. So I just need to build one up here. Okay. <laughs> and we're just gonna, I mean, destroy the everything. Okay, well I guess we'll just do one of these. Dude, there we are. Where is, where's my, my bus depot? I mean, my, my horse, my horse thing. Carson City. No, oh, God, I do this again. No. The train can't get there. Okay. Add station. Carson City transfer. Carson City. Okay. And now we make some, some buses. I mean, horses. I mean, American horses. <laughs> Just gonna. I don't know. Three. Why not? Sounds like a, a number of horses for things. Go. They have a 9,000 and a big boy? I've never played it either, Jason. This is my first. Um, I, I'm presuming that I'll have to build roads at some point. I haven't built any roads yet. Just got some UP cars to go with your big boy. I mean, I don't think they really ran too much passenger with the big boy, but those are, it'll be a fun set to have on the layout at least. As long as the buildings are highlighted while you have the station in range. Go, go, my pretties. <laughs> this is a this is a shenanigan. Nine well, I mean, normal nine thousands had broken valve gear, so. They haven't transported passengers yet? What is that train doing? You're only hauling five people? So much for a boom town. The mod community really makes the game so shine. Okay, so I'm gonna have to check out mods then, I guess. The platform's kinda cute, with a little cover. Platform markers. Not sure how uh, United States ish it is, but it's cute. It was carrying five. I guess one guy's deciding to go back to Reno. 
rolls in on the platform and just goes, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and our my Yes. Load the logs. Those logs will not fit on your trailer at their friendo. You have more public transit in a town, the more they will take the lines to other lines. Well, that's fun. That's a neat mechanic. Am I enjoying it so far, Waylon? Uh, I would say so. So far, so good. Seems pretty cool. Nicholas Watkins. Hello, Heist. I'm interested in working on the railroad with steam locomotives. Wondering how to get into that and any advice to someone who wants to get to work on steam locomotives. Go find a place and volunteer. Show up. Come with an open mind. Remember that you know nothing um, if you haven't done it before. And even then, if you have done volunteering at other places or worked with Steam in other places, always be open-minded to the procedures and flavors of your uh, your new location, etc. Um, and then show up and do the, the dirty work that no one else wants to do and put a lot of time in. And you will get to do fun stuff with the choo-choos if you keep that up. That's the, the, the best recommendations I can Thanks give you. The supply. Silver ore processing is running at full swing, which means your transport business too. Look at that. Completed the bonus task. And now we're gonna oh we need to make a new line. New line. And just go to all of these little stops. That looks about right. Okay. We'll get more horses. Go get them. <laughs> that one got lost. Yeah, or her Tekken 2 style train turnarounds, indeed. Bus stations near rail stations. Yeah, I saw that it seemed to cross link when I did that, so that seems to be a thing. Welcome back to Colorado. Thank you, Ragnar. <laughs> Go get him. Where's our one sad passenger train? There it is. Through the weeds. Always set up buses. That makes sense. I like the obvious hard light in the sand where the uh, the edge of the ballast and then the texture of the ground is. The earlier you set up public transit networks, the less likely the pops will buy cars. So that means I should set up a really good public transit network and then like 20 years later, scrap the entire thing, right? And then make sure that I buy stock in all the car companies. How does the tenders local and work with that fuel? Um, it burns my sadness, I think. Yeah. Also, what is this ridiculously giant buffer thing? It's very European and very out of period. Try connecting the pass to Virginia City. What do you mean in the past of Virginia City? <laughs> this is quite the silly little thing. Expansion room. 
It's giving it the beans. It is. Give it the beans. When I was editing the uh, day in a life of a volunteer video, I realized I just, I saw BNSF or I heard them coming in and I just screamed beans. And, I, and in the moment, it just seems like stupid crap that I do and say, but editing it, I'm like, man, I'm a little insane. That's a really stupid thing to do. <laughs> what a good laugh. Whiskey for men, and beer for the horses. Well, thank you for the super chat, Jake Shirey. I appreciate that. Oh, the passenger train. Oh, I got you. Yeah, we'd have to do the have to connect our lines here. Good night, Thomas Perry. I got started a little later than I wanted to, but I. Kind of got pretty far in on the the edit of my uh, video for tomorrow. So. Swankiest town in the whole West, where you find the most exquisite shops, the best saloons, and the loveliest ladies of ill repute. All right, I think we're gonna go and and uh, do a the sandbox Java, game. Tropical jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean. <laughs> for a change of pace. Okay. Anyway, uh, free game. So dry, temperate, tropical, I think. Temperate sounds nice. Map size, medium. Format one to one. Towns, medium, medium. Hilliness, we can, we can just make that just nice and hard, right? What gauge am I running? Um, it's uh, standard gauge, I think. I don't think they have narrow gauge in this game, at least so far as I know. Engineers, that's hilarious. There's no path or blocks, they're just traffic lights? Oh, that's gonna get frustrating. There's an air gauge mod, good. Joe been doing well. Um, I guess we'll... Uh this <laughs> Europe USA so someone said 1900 difficulty um, I guess we could do medium sure <laughs> we only know narrow yeah indeed I'm still not quite used to three foot gauge anymore I go back in between like oh yeah this is what normal track feels like and I haven't gotten back to that point with uh, three foot gauge yet. You can build railroad tunnels anywhere and make them stupidly long. Okay. Well, <laughs> see how this goes. You need a McKean car going to Carson Arena, taking the submarine route to the lake. That would have been great. <laughs> we had we had too much fun during that. <laughs> the OST for free mode, you think is pretty good? Okay. How normal track feels? Oh, when I get used like working for BNSF, I got so used to staring at standard gauge track, and I'd come back to the museum, and the track would look tiny. But when you work for the museum all the time, you get really used to. It, you know, small track, and then you go and um, you see standard gauge track, and it looks super huge. It's weird. All right, let's see. Well, we got Bellevue, Washington, D.C. Got towns all over the place that don't make any sense. Oh, yeah, L.A. There we are. <laughs> okay. Let's see. First thing, buses. Early game revenue. Yeah, let's uh, kind of survey what we want to do here. We've got... Decent pass between these two towns there. And they're pretty close. I think we'll I think we'll do that. Got ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Opulent. I wanna see the um I wanna see the McKean run. I had no idea it did until we were, you know, going through and it's like, wait, this thing's got a like a non standard engine in it. It's gotta be a runner. I think's cool. I think it's super cool. Bus depot. Depot. I guess it's not a depot, it's a stop. 
build a kind of a one-way path here. Okay, and then uh, road depot. Doot doot, just like that. Do we have buses? We're, we're out of the horses. No, we still have plenty of horses. Stagecoach. Yes, we do have both gauges at the museum, but you stare at the narrow gauge more than the standard gauge. And the standard gauge doesn't really live by itself. It lives as dual gauge, so it kind of feels different. Thanks, Rigaris. Buses are evil, indeed. Steam flatbed truck, steam tarp truck. We do have a Mac. We're getting some Macs. Insert the uh, compilation of Arnold Schwarzenegger saying Mac. Mac! Okay. Uh, didn't we put... There we are. kind of through the one-way loop here. All right. Here's the route. Start with about half a bus per stop. Okay, so I've got many stops, so we want many more buses. All right, I don't know, probably seven. Sure, sounds sounds lit. All those line one, go get them. Go, my pretties. <laughs> do you run a McKean motor car or do you helmet? <laughs> Depends on if it's a. Uh, in uh, submarine mode or not. Hamper traffic later. God, you gotta deal with traffic? That's gonna be a thing. It's custom stainless exhaust. I did not see that. <laughs> Carbon monoxide, come on. Who's worried about that stuff? Do I still stream on Twitch or is it mainly YouTube? Mainly YouTube. Um, we'll occasionally do a Twitch stream, but Twitch streams are usually like after hours, uh, no filter, or really off topic stuff, I think, typically. All right, I'm gonna set up buses over here next. All right, so if I have to be considered about traffic, I want the bus stops to be before the intersections, rather than after them, and I guess we could do some mid block. Tasty strat plane going on. And then we need to make a road jeppo. <laughs> passengers. And this gonna get shafted worse than mid late century American Railroad passenger service. <laughs> Late night degenerate hour streams are on Twitch. That's very true. My last Twitch stream was GTA 4. I believe so. It's been a, m quite a minute since we've uh, done a stream. And I, I was doing GTA 4. And I was doing really good about playing, get, like, getting my playthrough going for that game. And then I just have not touched it in a minute now. The sax is lit right now. Okay, eight stops, so we do four buses. I did decide to move, I did. Yeah, that did uh, interrupt a fair amount of things. Yeah, time scale down here. Let them spread out. 
All right, so now, now trains, trains, trains. Oh, passenger station, passenger terminus station. Hundred sixty meters. Maybe you want to get in on the game early here. Super long station, two forty. And I guess we can just couple it in right there. Dunk. And then can we stab this in here? Can I only kill one of those buildings? Let's see. Oh, there is there is a sliver right there. We can kill the one building. Dunk. 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 There we go. All right. Oops. Too much curvature. Well, we're trying to go backwards through ourselves. Okay. We need to work our way up. The trees are not helpful. So we need to work up to that elevation. So we want to kind of work it up the hill-ish. I guess it's not railroads online. We can do cuts, so we don't have to get too stupid tall here. Set time scale to half? Oh, I should probably name the uh, the lines, yeah. Quarter date speed, three times game speed. Oh, there's different date speeds? Oh, weird. Okay, half date speed. Oh, okay, that's... William Fleet, you just need Brakeman for three months. Red Lanterns, I love to see that. It's really cool. It's going well. We're uh, learning how to play Transport Fever here. I guess we'll make we can make that tangent. It's fine. Just fill that in. I like the sound design as it changes into a tunnel. It's more cheaper to build the tunnel? Are you shitting me? <laughs> On what planet? All right, well, whatever, we'll build the tunnel then. And then we need to make it down there so we can I don't know, sneak around here. Can't do any worse than CSX does. Well, I'm glad for the vote of confidence there. Appreciate the offers of advice. This, um, I'm probably not gonna play the game outside of making content, uh, just because that's kind of my life at the moment. But we'll see. So you'll either be live or maybe we'll do a playthrough. It's a bit of an obnoxious fill there, but that's kind of what we're living with. And then... Well... Yeah, I can live with that fill, I guess. Yeah, it's not not half bad, I guess. And then I guess we will put our Jeppo over here'sville somewhere. I don't know if it's best to put it parallel and tie in or do a Y or 
something. I don't know, but I'm gonna do that. Cool. Lines. Yeah, we should probably, uh, let's see, line one, Pembroke, buses. And then this is DC buses. That's not how you spell buses, is it? Buses is the stupid word that has not enough S's. That's right. Buses. <laughs> Hopefully the leaking packing will still let you cross the grade. Beautiful. First year's ended, check on your line overview. Line statistics. DC buses are not making money. All right. Anyways, we need to make a line. Chink. Uh, Katink. There we go. What did we learn? Hey, look at these choo choos that actually look. Isn't that narrow gauge? Isn't the class 56 narrow gauge? So we have the general, powers in kilowatts, cool. <laughs> Emissions are in there, it's great. Uh, speed, For 45 with those drivers, come on. 60, 75, 100. That is not how you spell Clara's story. Six accident passenger car, good God. 440 Pullman passenger car. That would be very silly. I think we're, we're going to do a 10 wheeler though. They simply scaled the model up to standard gauge so it's huge. No! This is. So there's two games that have done that. It's very dumb. Whatever. 10 wheeler. Oh god. Oh, we already had one. Um. Put speeds on the cars. I don't understand that game mechanic ever. We'll do four car train. Sure. Oh god, that's a very expensive train. Maybe three cars. They're $1.3 million a piece? Christ. Okay, well, I guess we're going old school then. Choo choo. Go get him. Ow. Three chime with a the screecher in the middle of it. Got very good brakes. That's a Rogers ten wheeler. Okay, never press that button. Got it. What is what is this all encompassing wood coal board tender thing? Two water hatches? You have a seat, bro. His face is still black. It's not half bad looking. The steam chests are 15 miles tall, but you know. 
Oh god, it's a bell pair? Weird. One or two coaches. Well, too late. And we just slam the train into emergency coming into the platform. Yeah, it's only pulling eight, eight people, which is half of one car. Where do we see the, uh... The amount of passengers waiting at a station. The wheels ain't flat. Did you really stop? <laughs> Beautiful. It does instantly turn around. Yeah, that grade's pretty yucky right there. God, that thing runs fast. That's genuinely a, a piece of ESD machinery. Watch it. on the station. I thought I did that and it wasn't... Oh, I guess 12. Okay, now I missed that. Yeah, one coach would have been fine, but it looks so much better with four. Look at that train. It is It is a nice looking consist. I was going to say, I don't have much money. Oh, you can borrow in $500,000 increments here. Or cheaper engine to run. Yeah, we bought the fast one because good, right? out of time sounding tram line for lots of passenger numbers get up to 20 million load at the start okay well, we've got buses are trams better freight is the real money maker okay so what freight options do we have Okay, these things list what they do. Food processing, sawmill, farm. All right, so we got a farm and we got a food processor down here. We gotta be able to do that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build a railroad for that. It's happening. Oh, that's no. You can get more than 20, 20 mil apparently. So we, we do, we build the train, cargo terminus station. We don't need a stupid long station for this one anymore. All right. Um, guess we'll build it parallel. Or as close to parallel as we can. <laughs> deleting your fields. That's fine. Cheers, di dickers. Start with trains instead of cars. Yeah. I haven't played City Skylines in a minute. Did enjoy it when I did play it. 
Hopefully this is pretty flat-ish. Flat-ish. Alright. Oh, we got a huge cut to make if we follow that entirely. So we'll try and do a little bit of a thing here. Oh, and that's just now a roller coaster. It's okay, loads are going down that. And the trains have super brakes, so I don't think it matters. It's taking a load in this game's version of a pee cup moment. I think it's probably as close as we're gonna get. The Atlantic, look at that. And it only goes 100 kilometers an hour. What's, what's the point? That's not, Atlantics go fast. It was for 250 years, 150 years. All right, we're going to make a new line. Dunk, dunk. And it is grain to Pembroke F FP, food processor. And then we will build a choo-choo. We want, we want power, not speed. Atlantic is no faster than the 10 wheeler, but it has more power. That's not how that works. Oh, more power, but less tractive effort. I see. That makes sense. Well, I guess we'll buy the class 56 because we're doing freight. And then what is. We, we put it in a gun. Got it. Thirty-six capacity. We'll do. We'll do forty-eight. We'll do that, and then go train. Go train. Go. Two grand to one food. Gotcha. I'm not sure I'm gonna take the food yet. Oh God. This locomotive should not go this fast. You sure that's not an upsized narrow gauge engine? Because it kind of looks like it. With a less sad but still strange three chime. Give it the beans. American mods, ignore gameplay, run trains. I see. Not the ones are great. Cheers, Nazu. That's <laughs> the roller coaster down into the platform. Hauling anything. Do you have to fit the vehicles for things? going on here station isn't connected small road gotcha Like that. There we go. 
Now Green's waiting. Cool. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Tyler. Glad you're enjoying that video. This locomotive, this, it goes so fast. I mean, I guess we're in double speed. It's still so fast. They want goods and or they supply. Okay. But I have to build a cargo station. I need to figure out where to take the food. It's a class 56. Which I know is a narrow gauge 280. I just don't know if there was also a standard gauge class 56. Redford wants food? How can you tell that? Rockford? Supply? Oh, I see. Sounds like a, uh, like the move. Click on the industry and click on consumers. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Ro Red Rockford is the closest one for sure. Oh, this thing's fully loaded now. All right. Oh, and we built a, a terminal, and we should have probably built a uh, run-through platform there. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll just deal with that. Deal with our own hubris. Oh God, they have grade crossings. Sure. Oh, hang on, we don't want to do that. Oh God, European signs. You can edit the station to turn it into a run through, but we've already committed to this. No chain signals, but signals nonetheless. Mogul for sure. Handle food delivery, sure. God, and we've got like electronic switch machines already. Okay. It's fine. And Rockford is just all the heckin' way up there. Just build the railroad. It's kind of neat that it snaps to the, uh, the other type types of things. Construction not possible. I guess we're just gonna weave that way because it's mad at me. I guess we should put a uh, cargo terminus in here anyway. Can't do a level grade crossing that close to a junction. Should meet some of the uh, designers that I deal with. Definitely can. <laughs> Cheers, Jacob. 
welcome. I mean, it's fair that it, you, they don't like it when you do. Okay, why is the, why is it holding to elevation now? Um, click on the arrow. Or is it just, oh. Oh, we're falling off a cliff, and that's as, uh... I see. Hey, Voldemort bad? You wanna get banned from stream chat? Cause that's how you do it. What? Yeah, I guess we're gonna big 10 curve this thing. Later, bud. Sorry, right. empties will be coming back up this, so. That's interesting that they, uh, they model the max grade downhill. That's, that's actually kind of a neat thing. I wouldn't have expected it to do. So we're just gonna keep spaghetti noodling this thing down the hill. <laughs> what an obnoxious alignment. Bunch of topograph, a few options, topographic, okay. 10%, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so presumably trains crash uh, without signals, right? One way signal, yes, no. They don't crash, they just stop. That's... Um... Okay. So... Just... I set it to not one way. So we have to do that. Okay. Okay, we've got an interlocking there. Yeah, but I don't want it to be one way. like the same thing anyway we'll just uh just deal with that for now anyways we should be good to make a new line grain uh oh hang on new line and then we want to pembroke pines halt all the way to rockford not connect all the stations? Why not?
man, the rules that you guys are telling me about this are getting more complex and stupid. Now I have to add another... I have to add another platform? Another track? They can't share that track? Razgrizzo1, welcome to the ESD train crew. Thank you. Okay. So. Well, that's silly. So you need one dedicated platform track per train? Anyway. Okay, so there's still a problem with the pathing. Oh god, these switches are cursed. They're like stub switches with the rails not lined up. Okay, that's fine. Oh, all right. Well, we we missed that. Not sure how we did that. <laughs> Little show member for three months. Thank you. Yeah, three months already. It's fun how fast that happens. It's fun to see all the red lamps. The hell is signaling it, gotcha. Get me out of building track mode. Get out of here. This still mad? No longer mad, okay. Full load. Right, okay. And then we will go to lines and we'll edit it and it'll be food, food drain to rock for only three. It felt like longer, indeed, right? <laughs> That's my error. Uh, grain to Pembroke FP. That's that's this train, but it seems to be running just fine. So, shrugs. How many colors did you make, and how long before we need more? I want to say that there are um, five. There is the green, orange, red, blue, and then blue, but the uh, the lantern changes to gold instead of gray. All right, so now I'm gonna buy vehicles. That Atlantic with the swoosh on the tender is weird. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mogul this boy. Mogul and food food goes in box car, but we have bigger box cars, so we can make it look cursed. Um, forty eight. No, nah, we'll we'll do sixty capacity no idea if that makes any sense but it's what we're doing so food train oh my god what a why are you obnoxious 
I'd use it on this channel later. Upscale narrative engine. Yeah, the, it's taller than the box cars that are behind it. And the box cars look pretty modern. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it's... it's fine. Two full gondolas, one full box car, that makes sense. Um, I figured that this is a short run and then this is such a long run that I'll probably be able to do stuff with it. Why is it, um... Why is it not loading? We have a mirror. It is going to be hard to maintain your membership having just lost your job, but it's been great. You'll continue enjoying your content. I just keep it up. I'm so sad to hear that you lost your job. That sucks. Um, that's awful. I'm sorry that you have to deal with that right now. And don't worry about it. Pay no mind. Um, I appreciate you have, you know, you being a member and coming in. But if you can't do it, you can't do it. You got to take care of you first. Ah, uh, they're all the 1016. Look at this. Oh, it is loading some amount of food. Oh, I guess it says whatever the first type is until it starts loading. And then it converts them car by car, I guess. Not sure how this conveyor thing works. It's fine. Oh, did that fill up? I thought I told it to uh, to wait till it was full. That's only got four things. Um, food train to Rockford. No, lines, food train to Rockford. Pembroke Pines. Full load all. Oh, the max stop time is three minutes. So I got past three minutes. I guess I need to change the, uh, the timer. Oh, I see. You're just not going to blow for that grade crossing, bud. You're just going to blow through it with your giant locomotive. Oh lordy. Some bouncy railroad through there. And here's Big Ten Curve. Followed by the reverse Big Ten curve. We're on the spaghetti part of the railroad. It's fine. Red whistle waypoints. That's a thing. That's funny. Someone is doing US three foot with that K twenty seven. That'd be fun. Yeah, this is definitely some Uina isms. I like this attached camera mode. It's fun. This would make very easy thumbnails. Who designed this railroad anyways? I know. Some asshole. Train set curve after train set curve. Sober and watch it for hours. I love it. Ethan Schober, welcome to the ESD conductors. 
Thank you for joining us. Go make sure you check out all the uh, the conductor-only videos. I posted a new one today. Spoilers, it's just a clip of my dog. One of my two dogs, but people demanded the dog content, so they got it. All right, well, we're, we're running trains. We're still not making money, but, you know, that, that sounds like things. Now uh, the trains are not making money. <laughs> Presumably because that passenger train still, one would assume. Check the station radius. Seems to be decently big. How do you tell if the buildings demand Oh, cargo needs. Yeah. Some. Grand train is killing us. I have two dogs. I have an Australian Shepherd. Uh, he's a mini, but he's kind of a schmedium. And then, um, and then a Heinz 57 mix of a little bit of everything. Cute little 20 pounder. She kind of looks like a bit of a chihuahua and whatever. Oh, it's now running back and forth, not doing anything right let's change that route paul thank you for the super chat dear old valley content soon yes we'll get back to the valley soon enough i think uh boss had something he wanted me to check out and then maybe 25k special will do the beans and the boys and the and the big boys and uh i don't, I don't know i'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do there but it sounds like it'd be funny so let's see, load, full load. Okay. Cheers, Midland. Talsumi, welcome to the ESD conductors. Appreciate it. You can only make 200 units per year without mods. Okay, so four cars was really excessive. God, those guns are huge. More nukes. Yeah, exactly. Just leaving that there. A little, little peacup. Speaking of peacups, I mean peeing. Oh, signals. Do the signals animate? They do. God, they look very German. Because they look like ones like Playmobil. <laughs> Speaking of peeing, um, I'm going to be right back and. Uh, go use the restroom and grab a beverage and uh youtube is telling me that now would be a good time to insert ads so um, apparently that's a thing now that i can do so we're gonna do that we'll be back in just a minute here thanks for watching folks All right, I am back. <laughs> the headways are awful. Yes, they are. Giggling at no, 
to turn off my ad blocker. Thank you. Appreciate that. No ads. What ads? Look at all you. The bank account is draining here. <laughs> I'm very deep in the red. Indeed. It's okay. We're clawing it back, maybe, by the looks of things. Storm and Charlie, welcome to the ESD conductors. I mean, yep, I'm aware. We were very much in debt. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the maintenance. Is there passenger train? Does it? It's it's still only hauling like a little bit more than one car worth of things. What time is it for me? It is 11.37 p.m. Good heavens. How'd that happen? Chop two cars. Yeah. Do they have to go to the depot for that? Yeah. Unable to find path to depot. Gotcha. So it has to have a path to go to the depot. And we did not give it one. So I guess we'll have to grab it when it gets back to Pembroke. It's a big boy in this game. We've not blown up any tank cars yet, no. <laughs> Diesel locomotive toilet. Or the steam locomotive crewmen do their paperwork. Um, as we say in the industry, we water knuckles. Cheers, bacon. Load safe, drive safe. Nix is streaming? Jerk. Click the wrench to modify the train itself. Oh. Oh god, we can do that on the fly? Look at that. Look, see, look, I fixed it. We're not broke. We're not broke anymore. Oh man, so I can just go wrench and I could just be like, no, I don't like that train anymore. <laughs> it's now a mogul. Modify for some amount of money. Oh, for a negative money? Look at that. And suddenly it was a giant oversized mogul. That's fun. Did you know that light rail is half the calories of regular rail? <laughs> Did you know that light rail is half the calories of regular rail? Switch now. Rail zero. These look, uh, God, those are pretty. This is actually a beautiful train set now. Despite the giant locomotive, the stack should be a little bit taller than the car, it's not the cab. We're only losing 400k a month, and not 1.6 mil. That's fair. It's an expensive choo-choo. The buses are turning a small profit. Small. Is the catchment area on the passenger station is pretty good. It's getting almost the whole city there. 27 people are waiting in here. What they were going to call in before someone came up with Hyperloop. I love it. That's hilarious. Machines and tools. That will sound annoying to do. Cheers, Joe. Once fuel and goods. Okay. I guess we should probably figure out running a passenger train to Rockford. Just a touch of Conrail. A touch of Conrail. Uh, 
I'm right. A lot from Mexico. Wonderful. Parallel stops to DC bus line. More passengers will ride both ways. Really? Bricks are usually easy. Okay. It's a coal mine up there. An oil well. Steel mill. Iron ore mine. We've got everything to make steel there, which is fun. But that seems like not a brilliant way to get going. Ah, we take stone and we make bricks. There's a quarry there. Okay, so we could definitely tie that all together. Stone, bricks, and then connect the train. Um, it almost looks like we should just be running trucks for that. Unless we, unless you think it's worth building a railroad for that. A grain train is set to the wrong platform in the food processor? It has to be set to a specific platform? Oh god. I I see. Right. That would explain that would explain a lot of things. Trucks to the Okay, plus trucks. Platform apparently does matter. At least in the root lineup, because that was why it was sitting there. It was a good call out. And then I guess we will magically make some more money happen. Look at that. No problems. Presumably that will do the thing there. And then... Do that thing there. Do that, and then we will make a line, and we will uh, make it say stone. Go there. Go there. Okay. Why didn't that work? Did we goof that up somehow? No? Okay. Doot. Doot. There we go. Let's see. Cargo, <laughs> steam flatbed truck, or the tarpaulin truck, which normal people call a tarp. They're identical. Let's see. But they 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 better than the horse. <laughs> so. When are you getting paid? Never. Come on, Mickley. What am I getting? Uh, what's my favorite diesel locomotive? I don't know if I have a specific favorite diesel locomotive. Do you guys like these steam trucks that are making diesel engine sounds? That man's hat is a narrow gauge hat that's been upscaled. It's Doug Dimmadome! Owner of the Dim Dam Dimmadome! Dim 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 
least we agree on you getting a free channel membership. You know, I think we actually did, and I don't know how, if I can do that. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, so we're theoretically going to be making bricks. So, it's better than shitting bricks, at least. So, we want to make a cargo station that then sits... Hopefully it'll let me build a grade crossing there. Beautiful. And then we just gotta find a way to tie into that madness over there. Bunk. Oh, 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 no, that's not what I wanted to do. Is there an undo? No, control Z does not do it. We can just blow that bit up. And then tie in there. And then signals. Oh, we've run out of money all of a sudden. Just go to the money store and buy more. God, this is a hell of a chunk of railroad to have exist. Later, Michael. You can edit the current passenger station and also have a cargo platform. Oh. The trucks can drop off the bricks there on the way back to the quarry. Oh, that would have been made, made more sense. <laughs> oh. How did I do that? The fact that there's no dis difference between them, yeah. All right. Well, then I guess we will. I guess we build a build a Y. Just just like that. There you go. I have no idea if that makes any sense as far as signals go. Playing Railroader when it comes out? I hope so. Oh, my signals actually do anything. Okay, so. I guess we can put a passing track in right here. Too much curvature. Oh, it's trying to do my stupid. Oh. Still trying to do so we'll just put the put the passing track in here. I gotta say this game is actually pretty fun. I'm definitely not very good at it yet, but Professor Fun Pancake. What a great name. And thank you. For joining the ESD train crew as a conductor. We're turning these on one way just for reasons. Who's mad now? Train one. No path. What do you mean, no path? Why are you confused? Flip it around. <laughs> Figure your crap out, bud. Oh, 
Oh, signal at the end of the passing. Oh yeah, I guess we we don't want an entry, do we? Because we don't actually have blocks that do anything. Right. Flipping it around is the on-off switch. Got it. That's fun. All right. I guess we'll make a, a passing track at the squiggle. It's a passing passing squiggle. It's not a passing track. It's loading up two full cars now. But maybe that's only because it was sitting for so long. What do we got going on here? We are making bricks. <laughs> Siding. Dang it, Bobby. Well, there's still more people there. What cursed stuff can we do to make this depot work? Can we just can we just do a shoop? Too much curvature. That's lame. I guess we could Oh, this is pretty cursed. There we go. You ever seen the letter Q, but it's like train tracks? Not really. <laughs> 60 food. Look at all this food. Go, food train, go. <laughs> Flies through the grade crossing at the top of the hill with its tiny man operator through Big Ten Curve into the squiggly passing track. How that kills me. The the switches. Okay, so so why did they bother to put a, like a real frog in and guardrails? And then your stock rails are the two outside rails, and then the points are just not points. And th and then there's a switch machine where there's no points in 1905. <laughs> yes, how much money does this choo choo make when it delivers? Steam Workshop mods, everyone says. I'm gonna have to troll through there and see what we can find. Dunk. Holy crap, a million dollars, just about? Wow, okay. So, yeehaw. That's pretty rad. I guess we'll make the, the new line, the brick line. The brick line. And then we do stations. And we want, no, the brick line, add station. Washington DC sidings, and then Rockford. No pegs. Super chat, thank you. Just remember Taffy. This ain't freaking Factorio, yo. I love it. I 
excited to check that stuff out. Let's build Chi Chi. I think the mogul's the, the move here. And we're carrying bricks, so. Flat car sad stakes. Alright. Well, I guess we'll do a 60 capacity seems about nice. But we need we need a couple more million dollars. It's fine. And then you're assigned to the brick line. I don't know what you're talking about with 15% grades. Seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Now we need to set the uh, Washington D D DC to load all, and then give it a longer delay time. Yep. Thank you. Go. Guess the passenger train is behind him. All right. Ship gifting is the thing, but you have to opt in to receive gifts on a per channel basis. Okay. How much money am I gonna lose on interest? Probably a lot. Only two hundred fifty thousand dollars last year. These flat cars are really weird looking. Last quarter, oh, they're quarterly. Ah, <laughs> that's a bit of an owie. How can I hold bricks? These cars do not look like they would be good for holding bricks. Oh, hey, it's almost midnight. Only existing channel members can gift memberships. Interesting. Happy midnight. It's midnight on August 22nd here, which means it's my birthday. Actually, though, yeah. Today is now officially my birthday. 11 p.m. Well, you know, you're behind schedule there in Arizona. Thanks, folks. <laughs> Train horn sound. Thank you, Antimatter1207, for the shout out. And everyone else. Thank you for the super chat, Paul. How old am I? Uh, technically, I think at 4.22 p.m. Seattle time, I will officially be 28. So my car will no longer be twice as old as me. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, just about 420. I was born at like 420 something in the afternoon. Passenger train might might need another coach. We're consistently filling it. Oh, there's only 26 folks waiting. I don't know if we just leave it as is for now. <laughs> That's what the bricks look like. Those are some big freaking bricks. They're like pavers. <laughs> Mickley does manage the Discord for free. It is true. Mickley is a sweetheart with the Discord things. Yeah, still only 24 people waiting there. And we didn't leave really anyone waiting, so, yeah. <laughs> the extra bricks that aren't strapped down. It's a vibe. Oh, the food train's running again. Good heavens. We might actually make money. I'm gonna pay some loan back. Ethan, I'm not sure why that is. I wouldn't think they need, uh, wouldn't think they need anything as far as, uh, headlights or anything like that. So where's a brick train? Is the brick train in the hole? No, he's working his way there to see how the signals work. trains use their horn. There is a sign for that. It's fun. Okay. Food trains on the way back out. And he dumped the air right there, so that's fine. Fireman's got the blower raging with the absolute raging tornado in there. What program is giving notifications? Sorry, it's Facebook. My phone's broken, so I've got uh, Facebook open for Messenger. It's the only thing I have. Uh, uh, Miss Heiss is on her way back from uh, a quick trip back to Seattle this weekend. So I'm just checking in. Unfortunately, I can't mute that notification somehow. This poor thing. <laughs> slogging up the stupidly steep grade. It's actually only going this fast. John Deere Boy, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday. Don't know what it'll get you, but have something on me. Much appreciated. I'm not sure I'm not sure what it'll get me, but I appreciate that. Should probably put two more passing sightings on that chunk of alignment. No legionnaires coming. Thank you. Gifting five memberships. That's awesome. Did Mickley get one? 
are the locos in this game so pretty and so cursed? They're so pretty because they're they like are decent models and they're textured decently. They're cursed because half of them are narrow gauge. They've been scaled up to full size. We can put one on the top of this ridiculous fill. Signal there, signal there. the uh, passenger train doing just fine food train is running relatively consistently now which is good grain train still fully loaded what in the manner oh god they've he's got quite the stack of grain at the ready right there that's why settings you can change the distance to speed miles and feet that's probably be nice but what's losing us so money this much money that's a great question um interest is pretty bad trains maintenance is pretty hefty right now Grand train carriages are barely paying for the locomotive. Well, we could certainly edit this train to make it a little bit longer, because we definitely aren't keeping up with the uh, the supply here. Obviously, if we had a car or two, we're gonna be it's gonna get a little silly. I mean, oh god, we need a million bucks for that. We have four hundred thousand dollars. That's all we have. Okay, so if we manage the vehicle wrench, we can add, add the cute little sad gun. God, it is cheap though. It is very cheap. So if we do, if we do this, hang on. If we if we go back to the shitty guns, we can get one more capacity for for no cost. Or 56 capacity for more cost, so. There you go. Long trains. <laughs> yeah, the... For whatever reason, I set up um, OBS with some different way to tie in rather than using the stream key I think it just logs into my YouTube and that adds a huge delay despite me not having any settings for delay and it's really annoying it's gonna whack up your food to delivery train ratios I'm not worried about that something delivered we're no longer in the red I think it's the food train Yeah, 
the food train does pretty good. Let's see. There's only 34 food waiting. <laughs> this train looks ridiculous now. I love it. Still struggling with the monies. Yeah, sell some cars in the brick train. That's not a bad idea. Hey, it's the first time it ran it. <laughs> Hardly did anything. What we really should do is sell, sell some of those and get a crap ton more of the, the trucks. Get our ratio a little bit better. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll run just two for now. Just to give us some stuff there. And then, uh, oh, why did we put another road depot there? That was stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Flatbed trucks. Yeah, okay. Well, just a bunch more. Stone. Go get them, my pretties. Yes, the diesel steams. The, di the steez steam diesels. Diesel. Oh, select and then duplicate. That's a good tip. How do we how do we duplicate? We're at manage vehicle. Clone. There we are. Holy crap! Look at that. because we had a million dollar investment of selling train cars. <laughs> this sax playing is tasty, man. Yeah, we were staring at the charts. Ooh. for a fever after all. I got a fever and the only prescription is the devil's lettuce. At least that's what Dan's saying. It feels wrong to see me in the train game with a positive balance. Thanks, Mick. Hauling three bricks again. Yeah, we need the uh, those stone trucks to g get their crap together. Do they make money? I guess these are all new ones. So if I look at one that's delivered, it's heading back. If they're making money, there's no reason to not buy a crap ton more of them. Right now, these are all existing that have lost money. Oh yeah, no, they make they make some money. Eight grand, eight or nine thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> More trucks. Check the finances for the line rather than the individual truck. Oh, okay. 
That's a neat idea. The brick line. How do we do that? Here. Well, it doesn't make any money yet because we just put bought all those new trucks. Unless the train. Well, that's the train because it's not making any money. DC buses are still not making any money. Stone is making okay money. <laughs> it wasn't late and it was Brett. Brett had the army of trucks in that other live stream. In Rare Tycoon. Lose two buses. There's only like four. Manage vehicle. How do we blow it up? Sell it. Bang. Bang. Parallel of the stops, DC, make way more money. Um, Give it a shot here. Those are truck stops. Nailing it. Can you tell it's like past my bedtime and I'm not thinking straight at this point? Got them all? How dare you. Damn it, Dan. <laughs> so then I guess I make a different DC bus line that goes the other way. And we'll just, we'll meme the name. really funny. I hope you guys know that. Cars, dude, con. I know trains are where it's at. Why would you do cars when you could do trains? But you know, apparently, apparently, buses are things to do in early game. You know. All right, let me put these on the reverse line. Honestly, boats. Okay, well, you know. Canals everywhere and boat everything. <laughs> Huge boats with guns. Gunboats.
we're still we're still not doing too great. We're still struggling a little bit. Con, I hope you know that half the trains in this game are narrow gauge trains that they just scaled up to standard gauge with and I mean they're giant. <laughs> you look at the mogul and then you look at how big the engineer is in it and it's like, oh yeah, it's designed for eight feet tall people. So that's a lot of painted brass. That's a lot of capacity and low maintenance. Seems to make sense. <laughs> Maybe my railroad exclusively employs little people. You know, it's an option. That uh, that is a possibility. Do we have a standard gauge engine on the on the railroad? I think they're all narrow gauge conversions at this point. This is the class 56. Now the class 56 is a lot more reasonable. Passengers. <laughs> Let's wait some more fuel efficiency. Makes sense because we're really concerned about the fuel efficiency of a steam locomotive. Show calm the curves. It's not the cylinder cocks, Mick. It's that they uh, they believe that valve packing should just leak on everything because it's coming out of the piston rod. So these are all very sad out of uh, in disrepair locomotives. But people want to see Khan see the curves. So uh, we have this chunk of alignment that runs to Rockford. Pay no attention to this silliness in the Y. Um, but we come down, blow through the crossing, and then um, I realized that they have a maximum grade. And so we just made some spaghetti. It's just some good old fashioned narrow gauge railroad spaghetti. It's required. The big 100 curves. Paul, <laughs> did you assume they packed the cylinders to begin with? That's fair. That is a possibility. <laughs> Still better than my herds online track lane. We'll have to get Clan to come judge that. I don't know, I think this chunk is probably worse with the uh, vertical curve shenanigan and excessive fills. But he's in 10%, you're not even trying. My man. Well, it's loading more bricks. Five bricks is more than the previous three that it's loaded. Just get the Atlantic. The Atlantic sounds like something I can't pay for right now. Just saying. Yeah, the trains doing the insta turnaround is a bit weird. But people are telling me there's mods to get around that. Why do they load bricks on the log bolster cars? And why do they have steel bolsters in 1903? That's a great question. Cargo station in Rockford might be too far from any buildings that need bricks. Okay. Oh. 
all of the buildings that need bricks are on the other side of town. Uh, can we truck bricks across tr town, presumably, the rest of the way? I guess we'll we'll do that truck shuttle. So we will go buildings. Truck station. Put one there. We'll do that and then we'll build a street to it. Just obnoxious like that. <laughs> Tell me this building. <laughs> but that is the way. The railroad must grow. Blow up the towns. For our train empire. Oh, it costs money to build buildings, right. We don't have money. Okay, another new route. And new line, and we name it Brick Transfer. No, how did I do that? Brick Transfer. Doot. No. Doot. Doot. And then we'll buy some steam, some steamy, <laughs> steamy trucks, steamy diesel trucks. Good night, Con. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping in. Jimmy, I will drive down to Colorado Springs and smack you and or throw citrus at you. <laughs> so presumably now that it, it knows that more bricks need to be shipped or something. Jimmy is James Patterson. Yes, you. came one kilometer to two kilometer trains. That's really a thing that they, that happens. Oh, well, that's gotta be fun. bricks waiting now so production is how many bricks it's made transport and shipment I mean what do, what do these mean
God, this thing is like keeping up with demand exactly. Shipment is the amount of bricks out of 100. Just not for you. Abandoned industry. Bummer. We're like actually making money somewhat reliably right now. And I'm not sure what to think about that. Ethan, they're just nine dash 44 CWs. There's no D in it. Nights to live. I'm gonna be getting ready to go to bed too soon. <laughs> Cheers and thanks, BZ. I've got apparently nine plus Discord notifications to attend to at some point. And it is, yeah, it is rapidly approaching my bedtime here. Me making money game is just preposterous. I know, Dero Valley, uh, my Dero Valley streaks have uh, definitely proven otherwise. Well, this has been really fun. I appreciate the, the guidance through chat this whole time, particularly from Dan. Thank you. Um, I know everyone's been helping, but Dan has been like pfft, everywhere the whole way through. It's been great. Um, this is pretty fun. I like it. It's definitely city skylines e railroad corporation e sid myers railroad tycoon e oh yeah now we need to add some some more brick cars to this thing because they, they left like another 26 bricks on the dock <laughs> anyways guys i think uh, i'm gonna jump off here but thanks so much for watching appreciate it as always thank you to all of the esnd train crew members who joined us tonight and to all the new ESD train crew members who came in and, and for all the super chats, it means a lot. So much appreciated, and uh, we'll catch you next time, whenever that may be. Thanks so much for watching.